And maintaining your emotional health and fitness can be difficult while you're working through the breakup of a marriage or a long-term partnership. With divorce rates in New Zealand rising, our next guest saw a need for an expert guide who can offer advice and support. Welcome to the show, Kimberly Sweeney. Thank you. It is lovely to have you here, and I find this absolutely fascinating. So you are New Zealand's first certified divorce coach. So what exactly do you do? What does that mean? So I support people through the process. Sometimes they're thinking about you know, going through a separation or they're actually in the midst of it and so I'm there to just support them kind of emotionally through it as well as help them get clear about what they want out of their settlement agreement and, and how they communicate that to their lawyers and their ex and their children and all of those and things. And everyone. Yeah, yeah, the so, family. So yeah. you're the first one in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. So where did you train? I trained in the US. Is this a common thing in the US? Yeah, divorce coaches are huge in the US and they work alongside lawyers a lot over there. So I'm the first in New Zealand and I've been building, you know, a, a kind of a name for myself mm. over the last few years. And yeah, and it's let's really be honest, taking off. There's always going to be a need for it. Mm -hmm. there, there really is in this day and age. So do you also help people decide whether they should actually stay together or do you step in afterwards? Um, I do often. Sometimes people come to me in that thinking about it phase, like should I stay or should I go? And so I help them explore their options and kind of I'm a bit of a reality check for people of what life is going to look like if they go through it, mm. especially when there's children involved. And so I, I don't advocate divorce at all. I've been through it, so I know how traumatic it can be for everybody involved. And so if they can see that there might be a way to, you know, rekindle the relationship and, and work on it, I will work with them in that respect as well. Give it a shot. Yeah. So do you work with both partners or just one of the partners? I work individually, one on one. So if a couple comes to me, I, sometimes I will work with a couple, but I'll work with them individually if they're both happy with that. Okay, so you don't sit them down together in the room and say, okay guys, work it out. No, I'm not a mediator. <laughs> no, that... I've got other experts that I can refer them to if they need that. So what's your number one rule for couples that are working through a separation? I think... Um, Keep communication calm and respectful at all times. And that can you know? be difficult, can't it? Very much so. It's it's kind of controlling the anger and the emotional overwhelm. And if you can do that and, and be respectful with each other, sometimes it can help you just move through the process a lot more amicably. And that's my role, is to try and have you have a more amicable separation, especially if there's children involved, you know? Which is obviously what you do want, because speaking of children, I mean, they will be affected, but you want to minimise the impact, don't you? So what is the best way to keep kids happy during a, a divorce or a separation, or balance, should we say, yeah. might be a better word? Yeah, it, I mean, happy in a sense of, you know, that they still get equal amounts of time mm. with mum and dad because that's all the kids really want at the end of the day. Um, the biggest thing is routine. They still need their, their structure and their routine in place and they need to know where they're going to be, you know, and who they're going to be with throughout the week. So having a clear parenting plan, I really am quite an advocate for that, mm. of couples putting a plan in place and I can help them draft a plan that they can take to their mediator or their lawyer and put in place. I suppose you've had lots of experience now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've got a good idea of what sort of plans are going to work the best. Yeah, very much so. And, and the different ages of the children it varies as well. Mm. So, yeah. So what about for couples splitting their finances? This is another big area that would cause some difficulties, I can imagine. Yeah, you know, every, it's people's biggest concern. You know, with women, it's how am I going to survive? Mm. And with men, it's like, what am I not going to give her? You know, so they come from two different perspectives. Oh, sounds like 1950s, doesn't it? sound like that. <laughs> And at the end of the day, you know, especially again if there's children, you just want what's best for everybody. And it is about starting over for both parties, so it just make it fair for everybody. Don't fight it out for every last cent, because often all you're doing is wasting your money with lawyers and maybe dragging it through court, which is not ideal either. Mm -hmm. So my role is to kind of help you see that that's not the best way to go forward and how can we avoid that and what can we put in place to kind of make it fair for everybody. So should people see you before they see a lawyer? Ideally, I, I love it when people come to me first, and often they don't, but I work alongside their lawyers quite often in a collaborative fashion. So I've done collaborative training with lawyers in New Zealand, and we work through the whole process with the client together and all communicate together on what's going on just to make it easier on everybody. Well, I think anything that makes the whole uh, predicament easier on everybody has got to be a, a good thing. Absolutely. Oh, fascinating. So the first one in New Zealand. Well, it's been lovely having you on the show. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so you much, for Kimberly. Me. Great advice too. Thank you. And if you would like advice or information on the services that Kimberly offers, you can go to her website, degreesofseparation.co.nz.